Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Plant It on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, this video was suggested by Jethro1010 uh, to add pl Planet to the app stores and make a video on it. So, uh, I'm going to be making a video on it today, and if you would like to suggest videos for me to make, please suggest them on Big Bear Community. So this is what I'll be installing today, Planet. It's a self-hosted open source gardening companion app, and it was suggested by one of the Big Bear Community uh, view viewers of the channel. So I figure I'd do it. I'm not into gardening, but I'm going to show you how to install it. So this is what I'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over to search and type plant. And now I'm going to go to apps, plant it. And then I'm going to go into Docker and Pose. So uh, the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Plant It. And then I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Plant It. And then the container name is going to be the same. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image is coming off Docker by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. Then I'm going to set some environment variables. So the, the MySQL. And then the uh, you can replace this with your own secret. And then the expiration date for the JWT. And then the user's limit. The upload directory, which that's the container path, not a host path. Containers don't know anything about that, the host path down here. Um, so now the API port is 8080. And then uh, the API key for Treffle. And then the log le level is debug, allowed origins, all, and then cache DTL, and then the cache host, which rhymes with the right here, so, uh, the service name. And then now the cache port is the Redis uh, port is 6379. SSL enabled is false. Certificate path, that's the container path down here. Um, so... Now I'm going to set volumes. So on the left side is the host path. On the right side is the container path. And um, the it's data, app data, dynamic variable, which is the app ID. And then it's gotten from the name up here. Um, so upload a directory. So this is on the host. And then this is on the container. And then uh, same with this one down here. On the left side host, the right side is a container. And then I'm going to set some ports. So 8080 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it, but you will need to ch uh, change that, that, that API port. Um, so now 8080. And then 3000 on the host, 3000 on the container. And then um, networks, Big Bear Plant It Network. And this is so uh, the, the Redis, we can use the service name and with the MySQL. Um, so this right here, the, uh, the MySQL details should run with the details down here. A and then, um, so the XCOS OS information to explain the app for the app store, the vo uh, volumes and the ports. And then the service, a, de a definition for the, the DB, which is the MySQL. And then the container names, uh, so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart always means that if you stop it or any other reason, it'll always restart, no matter what. 
And then environment variables. So, so the first MySQL database is plant it. The MySQL root password is this. It's a UID v4. And you know it's a v4 because it's this 4 right here. Um, so ports, 3306 on the host. And then on the containers, 3306. And then now volumes. So on the host side and on the container side, and the uh, the name has gotten from the name up there, the app ID. Um, so networks, Big Bear Plant it network, and then um, all these con con uh, ser services will, will, will be in the same network. So they can all, uh, so this right here can connect to these two different services down here, the cache and the DB. So um, now the Xcloud Swiss information to explain this service. Volumes and ports. So now I'm down in the Redis. So Big Bear Planet Cache. That's the, the service name. And then container name. It's so Docker it doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart always means that it'll always restart no matter if you stop it or any other reason. Networks. Big Bear Planet Network. Same network is all the two uh, so, uh, services up here. And then, um, so, the SCOS OS information to explain the volumes and ports. Now, n we are going to define the network now, Big Bear Planet Network, and the driver is bridge, so it's a bridge network. And then now, we're going to set some cost OS specific, uh, specific configuration to explain the uh the app to the app store so the architecture the uh, the docker image supports and this one up here is arm 64 and amd 64. and now the main service is big bear planet and that was up here at the top that's the main service um so if you don't set this main correctly then you won't be able to click the app uh from the dashboard on cost os It'll be grayed out. So description, the tagline, the developer, the author of the Docker Pose, and then the icon, thumbnail, the title, the category, port map is 3000, and that rounds with the host port up here of 3000. And then now a uh, tips before install. So this will co come up in a model box and you can go here to re read the documentation. So um, now the config.json is just to explain it uh, for, for the GitHub. And logo is set right here. So that's a little bit about the Docker Impose for Planet in Big Bear Cost OS. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, I'm going to start on my COS OS, and I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to Search and type Plant. So, now I'm going to see it, and it's coming from Big Bear COS OS. So, I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to install now, this is the model box that pops up uh, with the tips, and you can go, go to the documentation, but I'm going to click Next Steps. And now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and getting it up with Docker Impose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. It's also setting up the networks and the volumes. So now we got it successfully up and running. So now I'm going to go over the app settings in Cost OS. So if you go up to the top right of here, vertical dots, you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. And then um, you can come down here and you can edit this and take this out. And then save. Then it'll reload. And then you can come back into the tips right here. And it's gone. So it did save. Um, you can go into settings right here and you can change some of the service and then save, and then you can change some of this and save, and then sa same with the MySQL. Um, you can't change the uh, the password 
or the a, da a database uh, since the container's already been created. Y'all need to use SQL for that. And then um, you can come up here to the terminal logs, and then you can be inside the uh, container. You can see the logs right here. It's great for debugging. And then you can export the Docker and pose, and then you can exit out of there. You can check for updates from the uh, from Big Bear Cost OS. You can uninstall, restart, and fire off and on. So now I'm going to show you where your files are located. So if you go in the Files app right here, and you go to App Set a uh, uh, Data, and then Big Bear Plant It right here, and then Certificates, MySQL, and Upload Directory. So you can go in here; it's empty, and then the MySQL and then certificates. So you can also go up here, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete, and then you can check mark these and then download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. So that's how to get to your files in COS OS. So now I'm gonna go to the web UI. So you can open it from here or you can open from here. So I'm gonna go into it and now the server URL you're going to put HTTP and then uh, 8080 and then continue. And then now you can create an account. So tester, testing, uh, tester, and then example. And then now I'm going to just put a password in and then sign up. So now we're in and you can search your plants. Um, you can go over here and you can see edit profile, change password, event count, plant count, species count, image count, and you can log out. Um, you can go ahead and um, go over here and you can add a custom one. So a family, just say testing, and then save. And then now you can add a plant. So seller, location, note. I'm going to Okay, so now if I go over here, you'll see plant count and species count. And now you can add an event. So you can come down here and you can um, you can set, uh, say what event happened. And then you can select the date. And then you can add a note. And then you can add an event. So if you go over here, and now you see all the events that happen. And you can edit them. And then you can also delete. Oops, delete. So that's a little bit about the UI on Plant It. So I just went over step by step on getting Planet working on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS, a third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go into the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.